Afternoon folks, just an update on what's been going on my end, uh, as you can see, the digging out process is now complete, thank Christ, uh, I'll never do that again, uh, never on my own and never by, by hand anyway, um, what a hard slog that was, mainly because I've done it on my own and I've unboiled it all by it into a skip, but, you know, you want to do these things on a budget, this is what you got to do, I suppose. Um, it don't help that family and friends say they'll come around and give you the touch, digging it out and battering it out, and don't turn up or have some lame excuse that you know they can't make it. So, but it is what it is, it's done now, I suppose. But we're all dug out now, drains laid, pipe works laid, we're all it's it's all sold and welded in so. Happy days. Um, hopefully, plain sailing from here on in. Um, I'm gonna get the concrete ordered this week for it. Get that in. Let that all nicely set, and then onwards and upwards with the block work. Then, um, so I said, from the point over there where that shell is, where the barrow is now, it's probably gonna be a meter or just over high. And obviously, it's gonna be a bit lower. Yeah, well, it's all gonna be the same level, like, but it's gonna be. A bit higher here, um, obviously because the different levels in the ground. But yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon now. Like I said, once it's concreted, I'll be I'll be chuffed because you know we can we can start on the, on the uh, longer way to block work now. Um, I've got plenty of block there to make a start now, so I, I haven't a clue how, how many I'm going to need. Uh, I'm just going to. I think I've got 150 so far, and I'm estimating I'm going to need about 400 because um, we're building them on the side just for the extra strength. Um, so, uh, everything's going forward now, which is great. So, I'm, um, I'm actually just deciding now what about liners. I mean, I've been pretty set on a box world liner. Um, just, you know, obviously. The price wise, the plus the products quite a bit of good, good as well. You know, you get all these I think it's a 20 25 year guarantee with a box weld liner. Uh, it's made specifically to your size, so but I've um, been thinking about getting it fiberglass. Um, just for the fact that obviously I've all I prefer fiberglass if I'm honest, I think it's just a better finish. Obviously, it's going to be a, bit, a, a lot more expensive. I don't know. I haven't got a clue how much. I mean, I'm going to need to get a price. Uh, that's so. That's the big factor. Uh, but I just think with installing a, a window, I think it's just going to be a lot easier with fiberglass. Obviously, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the block work all done and cut a recess into the block work when the window's going, just for the window to fit in flush and for something to sit on. Uh, I just think it would be a nicer finish with the fiberglass for the window to go in. I'm saying this, you know, I, I have no experience with it. We're all doing it with box weld, so it might just be as easy with box weld. But I'm going to get a price on it for getting fiberglass uh, and see what the difference is. I know, I'm expecting you know, the, the box weld line is going to be about 400 quid. So if there's no massive difference in the fiberglass cost, and I'm talking, you know, if, if I can get the fiberglass and done for like, 600 quid i know it's it's hoping but i'd rather pay the extra 200 quid to get what i want um but if we're talking stupid money like eating that i've had one guy give me a quote of 13 50 that's just totally out of the question so but he was traveling up from down south so i'm going to speak to a guy uh, who does in my local coffee shop he does their fiberglass and but he only charges a day rate uh, and supplies so Obviously, I don't know what his day rate is. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a two-day two, two day job. So, we'll see. We'll get a price on it, and then we'll make the decision. But, going forward now, it should be a lot easier. I mean, literally, that's the last battle of... Uh, well, you know, we, we hit clay, and that was what it took a long time, because digging clay out is hard graft. Um, so, that's the last battle now, and I've literally got no room in the skip left. I'm going to have to try and squeeze it on. I mean, I don't even know what they're going to take because 
I'll put some stills on at the end of this to show you this, the, the skip. It's absolutely it's a six ton skip and it's just mounded up. So I'm going to give them a call in the morning see if I can get them to come and pick it up and hopefully they won't be too angry at me and just take it. But you got to try. Yeah, but yeah. All going good. The weather's held off for a couple of days over the weekend, which has allowed me to get this completed. I was I was dead set on getting this finished this weekend, sunshine or rain, whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna nick some rebars this week this week from work and put them in. Before the concrete arrives, and then we're all set. Then I can get me. Um, I've got a cement mixer all lined up, ready. Um, get a bag of sand ordered, and then bags of cement and then away we go I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a block work myself so I'm gonna be doing a bit each weekend and probably some nights a week as well so I'm not, I, 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 well we'll see how we get on I'm not putting a time limit on it I just want it the block work done before the bad weather comes and then not I want nothing else to be getting done then this year you know that that shed's gonna be going. That's just a wood shed now, but I'm gonna get a new shed where all, the, where all the filters are going. So I might just over the winter, I might get the shed there and get that set up. Um, do the electrics in it, obviously because we've got a supply going down to the fry shed now, which is down there. Yeah, excuse the mess in the garden; it's absolutely wrecked at the minute. But we've got our supply going down to the shed there now so obviously we're just going to split the supply and it, 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 the supply actually comes in there because i've got a light in the shed for when i'm going to get my logs um so we're just going to take that supply up to a, a little mini mains board in, inside the new shed and then we'll just have the electric coming another feed coming out down going down to the fry shed and then all the electrics set up they're going to be they're all going to be on their own rcbo so obviously if anything goes wrong with anything in the pond this pond it's not going to disrupt the supply on anything else the actual individual rcbo will break so i'll be putting like to so the pump on its own rcbo um the uv will be on its own rcbo stuff like so that so over the winter I'll get all that done, all the electrics, get all the filters set up where I'm going to get set up and obviously early next year then it'll be a case of getting, this well, deciding on Fiberglass North Liner, PA Boxwell Liner, getting that ordered, getting that in, then getting the air window and getting that in. Once that's done it's pretty much done then. Um, I haven't decided yet on uh, what I'm going to clad it in. I've had a couple of ideas and I was going to clad it in like some like a cedar but it's not cedar because I know cedar is expensive it's it's a sort of it's, it's pretty much the same as cedar but it's not expensive it's not as expensive um, or I might do a nice um, travertine tile around it I don't know yet I've not decided again I'm not really fussed about that as I said that's that's not important it doesn't affect the operation of the pond I said, my aim is to have this operational for February, all up and running, so I can leave it then for a good few, a month or so, running on an official cycle, letting natural bacteria build up and everything, and let them, everything mature, all the filters and everything before I actually start adding the fish out of the current pond. Uh, but that's the plan. That that's 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 what I aim to do. But said this is this is the main thing to dig out. You know, it's it's took a lot of time now. The base is going to go, and once the base is in, you know, the block work. I don't emphasise the block work being hard. Once I've got it, once I've got all my levels and everything, you know, it's it's onwards and upwards. Um, so it's gone. The pond is, you know, I had the day for three meters by three meters, but stupidly I never took into consideration the block size. Uh, obviously we're going to be laying the block flat so it's um i think the block's 230 mil so it's minus 460 mil so it, we're there or thereabouts i mean 
lengthwise, we're just it's three and a half meters, so we're not we're not we're not too bad there. So it's gonna be like you're gonna be like three meters by two and a half meters, say, give or take, and then it's gonna be five foot deep. So I, I, I'm I'm really happy with that to be honest. I think that's a real good size. I think worked it out to something like just over three thousand gallons, fourteen thousand liters, something like that. Um, gonna be fitting twenty thousand liter variable pump pump on it. Uh, Fifty five watt Evolution Aqua UV going into the filter system of the four blue bin the black bins I've got from work. Um, and then obviously coming out to a shower but what I'm thinking about doing is putting some underwater returns in um, just in case while we're at this stage now put the pipe wave back into the dead I can just put a, um, a ball valve or gate valve on them um, I don't want really no, no pipe wave coming into the pond so you can see anything so I'd rather just put them in at this stage when I'm doing the block work yeah, as a fail safe if I need them you know we can attach them to a filter you know what I mean so um, it's just as I say it's just another fail safe in case you know, obviously this shower it might be too much for the shower to take you know or the flow is not right we're not getting enough flow around the pond so we can we can put them jets on now or whatever so it's easy, it's easy enough done whilst at this stage and I'd rather just do it now get a ball valve on it put the pipe work into the shed and just put we don't have to put it into the filter now or whatever or we can do just put stop ends on them or, or, or whatever so best to be safe and sorry isn't it so you know so that, that's the plan but that's where we are anyway just thought to let, let you know where we're at what we've done um next update will probably be when it's concreted so it'll look totally different again. Um, we can start getting the garden all tidied up properly now, getting everything away, ready for winter. This trampoline's going because I'm going to deck all this area where the trampoline is. And we're going to be getting a, um, a hot tub there, I think. We need to keep the wife up because she's not entirely over the moon about this, the size of the, um, the pond, to be honest. She didn't realise it was going to be as big. So, got to keep your wife happy, haven't you? Happy wife, happy life, as they say. But yeah, all good. I'll uh, just give you a, a little update on the fry. I'll go and take it in the fry shed. Obviously, let you know how they're doing since the little episode during the week. Um, and let you know what's going on with them. So these fellas are still doing absolutely great since the episodes during the week. Um, Still can't believe what had happened. Um, the only downside is is the one with the bent tail. You, you'll probably see him coming up to the top. Um, it, it's still it's still been the same. Uh, mainly swimming around the top, just in circles. So I think I'm probably gonna have to do the humane thing and uh, call that one. Uh, it's not fair on, on the fish I thought we'll give a chance to try and recover um, but it just doesn't seem to be I mean the last couple of mornings I've come in here there he is down there now see him come up to the top see he's swimming quite erratic and weird yeah, the last couple of mornings they're coming in and he's been near the top and when I come in from work he's been near the top so a bit gutted by about that because you can see the coloration on them are lovely as well and it's a live animal so but I'm not gonna make any decision I'm gonna give another couple of days and see um, how he does but that's probably gonna what's gonna happen to him unfortunately but yeah, since I took that heated out, these have been great. It's just, it's just been a lot, lot more active. Seeing them all happy as anything in there now. Um, I'm actually, I've actually managed to get a refund on on the heater. Uh, I contacted Amazon. 
and made them aware of what had happened, sent them the pictures. Um, although the actual item was out of warranty, we I don't think it was only he only got a month warranty with it. Um, when I actually told them what had happened, they said, "No, no, we'll we'll um, issue you a full refund." So that's getting posted back to them tomorrow. Um, and I've seen another one um, with far better reviews. Um, it actually, it was recommended to me by one of my subscribers. So I think it, his name's Elliot. Oh, he's a new subscriber, sorry. So um, he recommended one to me. So I took a look on it, and it's got really good reviews on it. It's a 500 watt. Heater two with two with a two twin a, a twin heater in it. Sorry, two two hundred and fifty watt heaters, but protected in a plastic case. So probably going to give that one a go. Uh, but what I'm going to do differently, I'm not actually going to put it in the pond. Um, yeah, my mate decoy give me a great idea what he does. He puts it actually in the filter to stop. The potential of any of the fish touching it and getting a belt off it. So I'm gonna stick it in that chamber there. Yeah, that's um, sucking things on the side, so we'll stick it to that and we'll stick it into that chamber and it'll obviously it'll heat that water and send it back out. So it'll, it'll do exactly the same job, so it's that a bit more protected. It in there for the, for the fish sake plus I won't have another wire going into the pond bonus but yeah they're all doing well they're growing nicely that's yeah, just a little fella now but like I said not being too hasty we're not making a decision yet um, I've managed to get my hands on I don't know if I told you this I don't think they have um, I've managed to get myself at a I think it's about a 400 litre mortar tub from where. Um, if you remember a couple of weeks back, I mentioned like the rate these are growing at. The plan was to keep the, all these in this tank over the winter, but I don't think I'll be able to with the rate they're growing at. I, mean, I think they'll be too big, and obviously, it's not the biggest of holding tanks. So, uh, the idea is to obviously, I've got this mortar tub, which is about, I think it's about three or 400 litres. So, I'm going to set that up next to it. Uh, and join it on this filter system so that, that's some good news as well I won't be getting done till a later date when I need it you know I'm not going to be doing it anytime so, soon but I should imagine be, before Christmas time these will need to be split and um, say with the rate they're growing but we'll see we'll see what happens um, well that's pretty much it um, I said, been busy on the new build all weekend, so that's all dug out now. The uh, drains are all in, so we'll order the concrete tomorrow, so we'll get that in, and then it's on with the blocking. Then, uh, say so next update, we should have the concrete foundations in. So that's all from me, guys. So, hope you've had a good weekend, and I'll see you on the next one.